Okay, in this video I'm going to make a demonstration on a different way of using power to operate multiple HHO units without using an extra bit of power from your vehicle's supply. Say you have your 12 volt supply, positive and negative. Now then, anybody knows that you can take your power light up a 12 volt bulb and then run that back to ground. The battery being 12 volts, the light being 12 volts. Now then, all right, now here's another way to hook up that's similar to what I'm trying to say here. Take your same 12 volt battery and instead of hooking up one light, one 12 volt light, you have two 6 volt lights. You can then take your power and hook it up in series and then run it back to ground. Two six volt lights hooked up one after the other in series will work the equivalent as having two individual 6 volt batteries powering these light bulbs. Now then, the biggest problem that people have with HHO is that you have power running to the engine, power running to lights, parallel power, parallel power to the radio. Parallel power to everything. The more things you have hooked up, the more amps you draw. So, if you take a parallel hookup and hook up your HHO device, you will draw more amps. Now, with a simple motorcycle headlight bulb, I was able to do a test, and it's on YouTube, you can go look at it, there should be a link up for it, if not, I need to fix it. What 
I'm trying to do here is hook up the HHO in series. So let's take another example. Twelve volt battery, twelve volt bulb. Now I don't know if this is the correct voltage that we'll need, but for an example, it'll be close enough. We'll say six volt bulbs here. Okay, now we take the 12 volt light add power to it and instead of running that power back to ground we then take the ground and hook up another light in series. And the first thing you're going to say is, okay, well maybe the six volt light will light up, light up, light up uh, correctly, but the 12 volt light will be rather dim. You are correct, light, the 12 volt light will be rather dim. So we add Oops. We add a second six volt light in a parallel hookup. The 12 volt light is hooked up in series, but the six volt lights are hooked up parallel. What? The bulb, the 12 volt bulb still isn't bright enough? Okay, we add another 6 volt light, and if we have to, we hook up another 6 volt light. First we supply power to the 12 volt light. And then in series we have a parallel hookup of smaller bulbs and use the exact same power twice to complete the circuit. In Are in the HHO demonstration I have done virtually the same thing instead of the parallel hookup that everybody else does with their HHO units, we are going to use the same power twice to operate everything. Though so this will work good on a motorcycle and a scooter because if the voltage isn't absolutely perfect for your headlight 
and for your HHO units, you know, the, the bulb might be slightly dimmer. The math doesn't have to be absolutely perfect for this application. You take the power coming off your vehicle and you run your 12 volt headlight, your biggest consumer, except maybe for the engine itself. The biggest consumer of the power being generated. You then run that power to multiple HHO units running with a very high concentrate of solution to get the least amount of resistance as possible. It might even take more than that. It might take less. The 12 volt light is the perfect resistance for the power supply because we know that if you were to just run this, if you were just to run these units straight to the battery, the battery would go dead in like 10-20 minutes. So, we are using the light bulb to add the perfect amount of resistance because we know the system was built to handle the 12 volt bulb it's the perfect resistance for the HHO units the more HHO units you add the brighter the bulb will get And that is the principle on how to hook up multiple HHO units to your vehicle using the same energy that you've already used for one job. You now are going to use the same energy, the same exact same electrons to power s secondary units and then go back to ground. Here's a demonstration. Here's a better drawn demonstration of that. 